This is the drive home with Zach and TT for the Mill drive home, driving home from Abbey Road Stadium or the Abbey Road Stadium, where it finished. Cambridge United won. Mill nil. Mill nil. A game uh, we would like to instantly forget. If it could have gone worse, I would have liked to have found out why <laughs> or how. Uh, yeah. Two injuries, uh, a yeah, red, red card. card for Honeyman as well. Not a very good uh, performance from us. Right. Not a very good performance from Cambridge United. They scored their only shot on target. Um, probably one of the worst refereeing performances you're going to see for a long time, but what's new? Again. Yeah. <laughs> for us. And when you add all that together, we find ourselves out of the Carabao Cup. Thank you very much for the support you gave us for Saturday. It's typical Millwall. The ups and the downs. However, this is a we're cup a that yeah, it'd probably be better that we're, we're out of. The uh, disappointment was that we're out in the manner that we're out because we just didn't create enough. Um, and the chances that we did have fell for, to one player and ultimately did not take them. Yeah. Um, we started with uh, many changes. George Long in goal. A back three of uh, Charlie Cresswell, or CC, as I'm going to call him. CC. Um, Charlie C. Chazza C. Uh, Charlie Cresswell, who you had a great moment with. Um, mm -hmm. That obviously went around social media. Uh, Sean Hutchinson returned and um, Murray Wallace. <laughs> who was with Murray Wallace? Um, Leonard. Yeah, so Leonard was right wing back. Yeah. Left wing back was... I think Danny Mack was left wing back. No, Danny Mac, Danny Mac was right wing back. Leonard was, Leonard was the right centre back, wasn't he? And yeah. So and then Murray Wallace was the left centre back. And then uh, Cresswell, yeah. also centre back. Uh, George George uh, Evans and George Savile in the midfield. George Honeyman, oh, bloody hell, three Georges. Yeah. Uh, George Honeyman George. is the central attacking midfielder with uh, Tom Bradshaw and Mason Bennett up front. Mm. First minute of the game, ball falls to Bradshaw, who places the ball over the bar and screws his groin, it looked like. So that's him come off, and uh, Isaac Oleafe came on, or Tance, as his nickname is. Um, we created very little in the first half. A great corner from, um, I think it was Honeyman, over to Ryan Leonard at the far post, who somehow manages to miss oh the target. Oh, God. He, I think he was outside the box, but it was a solid three metres wide when he had a, a free... Yeah, yeah, it was just, it wasn't good enough. Um, and then Honeyman got booked for a silly foul. He had to, to probably do it, you know, they, they, they were through on goal and, and Honeyman's, well, not through on goal, he's but dragged him back. he's dragged him back and, and picked up a yellow card that would have proved, that proved to be costly. We come out in the second half, um, actually the better team, uh, Ole Afe creates a good chance, he gets played in, he's got bundles of pace, blazes the ball into the side netting when he probably should have gone oh, across yeah. goal. Um, and then, you know, from nothing, Cambridge United break down the right, cuts it back. It's a good finish. I think it's O'Neill on the edge of the box, puts it into the bottom left-hand corner. Like I said, literally their only shot on target. Um, they did have one chance when we were chasing the game, but they didn't create absolutely anything other than that. No, um, George Long didn't need to make any sort of contribution. No, but to they, the play, game. they played the ball around quite nicely at times. Yeah. Um, we then have a, a cracking chance, a defensive mishap. At the back, it, I think it was passed, and then they didn't expect it to come, That's and then it was back heeled. Yeah, it hit him, and then uh, Ola Afe is one on one with the goalkeeper who's got to score. And he t he takes one touch too far because t then the goalkeeper will close down the angle. Whereas, as a striker, you're running for on goal. You need to take that second just to think, take a shot. Otherwise, the keeper's going to come and grab me. Um, and he, the keeper's on him, and he and he hits it at a goalkeeper. And then straight after, sorry, before that, straight after the goal that they scored, couldn't have been worse timing. Um, George Honeyman is fouled. Literally, he's, he, the, the, the um, Cam Cambridge United player white, tries to wipe him out. He, he gets over the challenge, but he loses the ball, falls to one of their players. Um, and, he, I think he and then he, the yeah, and then he does the same thing and holds on to the player. But he, he was fouled leading up to it. There was no, like literally sec a second beforehand. And there's no, there's no advantage to Honeyman because obviously he loses the ball, brings the player down a second yellow, and he's off. And then we're obviously always going to be chasing the game. But we create um, a, a couple of chances. Another one fell from, from a set piece into the box. I think Ole Efe is three yards out and manages to, to, to put it oh. over the bar and that's the difference but in quality that's you know blazed it over he did. the bar that's you know if thing. you're thinking if that's been a Kofoba on the pitch instead of Ole Efe we, we, we score probably two or three goals today and that would be enough to take us through um, we had a couple of set pieces balls into the box where we looked dangerous the referees you know allowing them to you know the difference was Stoke trying to 
do zonal marking. Cambridge United were man marking, and when I say man marking, they were literally all over Holding our players. Holding our players. I remember there was one where Oluafe uh, was on the player. A few times the ref had said to the players, look, what are you doing here? And then literally grabbing onto him, rugby tackling Oluafe, and there was no hint of a... No hint of any type of any type of a uh, telling off, even. So yeah, it was just it the, was the rest just, allowed it to. Yeah. And when it, you know, fair play to Cambridge United, if they're going to get away with it, they're going to do it. It's up to the ref to, to do something about it. He didn't, and um, ultimately, that's. Uh, other than that, you know, like I said, they created a chance right at the end where he should have finished it, and and, and somehow blazed it wide, which shows what kind of quality they've got in their squad. But we're out of the cup, like you said, probably uh, thankfully. Um. That's the second time we've been to, to Abbey Road with, with Cambridge United. We've now got to drive home. Um, An hour and 40 minutes, I think. And then right? up to Sheffield United. Like I said, we're going to Sheffield United. Tom Bradshaw's out injured, uh, likely to be injured. Zian Fleming was, was, wasn't was playing. And now George Honeyman's going to be suspended. That's not looking... It's not boding well for Sheffield United, but we'll give it our best. It's a different, yeah. different atmosphere, different thing. And obviously, Jake Cooper's the number one striker against... Sheffield United, they'll have to put three men on him yeah, at corners. Yeah, the other day with uh, Cresswell, I did say they had to put two defenders yeah. on him and well, then they didn't and then he scored. So, yeah, so three, three, three for... men on Cooper, he may score. So. Yeah, um, but we'll go up there and see, see yeah. how it goes. Um, we, we, did you have a man in the match? No, but there's one more thing that I had to say. Well, I, ha I have to say that today we had, we didn't have an excuse but we had a reason to our mistakes and all of that. The ref was an absolute joke. But we'll go on on Saturday and we, with our heads held high, without three of our best players, but we'll, we'll hold, hold our heads high and go for it and maybe win. Yeah, um, I, one thing I'd say, Jules Savile, Jules Evans, I don't think mm. covered themselves in glory today in the central midfield areas. Um, and we'll leave it there. So we'll bring back Billy and Shex for the, for the game at Sheffield United. Yeah, hopefully. Thank you very much for watching the Mill Drive Home. We really appreciate your support. Love the comments. You know, the likes were amazing on the last. Obviously, yeah. um, some some fantastic comments. And we, like I said, we really do appreciate it. Only one way we can end it. No one likes us. We don't care.